What's going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. Who'd believe it? It's February and we're getting big breaking transfer news for Manchester City outside of the transfer window. So before I do crack on with this video, make sure like always if you are enjoying the content, do subscribe to my channel. It is free and remember I will be doing daily Manchester City transfer updates from June for you guys to enjoy and stay up to date with here on YouTube every single day throughout the summer transfer window. Going to be a big and busy summer for Manchester City. Also, don't forget social media links. They're in the description. If you want to go and follow me on my Twitter, Instagram and TikTok. Email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. 200 likes is the aim. I do get your thoughts in the comments below. Finally, what to say a big thank you to today's video sponsor which is brought to you by Football Prizes. They are running a very special prize made up of a signed Erling Haaland shirt, which you can go and check out. It's £3.95 for you to enter. There's not long left of this prize. There's not many tickets available either, so you're going to have to be quick. Links and details there in the description. Do remember as well, you've got 27 instant prizes, including the chance to potentially win a signed Ruben Diaz and signed Edison shirt for you guys as as well as potentially winning the Erling Haaland shirt as well. So links and details there in the description. Remember, £3.95 to enter. That's for one ticket. You can buy as many tickets as you want. Uh, so do go and check it out. And thank you to Football Prizes for sponsoring this video. So we're going to start off with the outs. Got some very interesting news about Sergio Gomez. Now, sports witness have said that Galatasaray over in Turkey, they're still interested in signing Sergio Gomez and could choose to make a loan uh, move for him before the end of their transfer window which shuts on February 9th. I do doubt that Manchester City are going to let Sergio Gomez leave because we've got no time uh, to make a replacement for Sergio Gomez and we've also allowed Calvin Phillips to leave. That's one squad player. Now Sergio Gomez's playing time at Manchester City may be pretty limited and City are going to look at the situation again in the summer but to lose one squad player in terms of Calvin Phillips and then potentially lose two in Sergio Gomez inside the same transfer window as we do head towards the uh, business end of the season would not be very wise from Manchester City because we're not in a position where we can go out there and bring anybody else in. So it would be better to have that depth there in case they're needed rather than to allow them to leave when we're not in the position to bring anybody else into the football club. So to me, I don't see Manchester City allowing Sergio Gomez to leave the club uh, before the transfer window shuts in Turkey on February 9th. But uh, any developments on that, of course, I will keep my eyes and ears open for. If this was the summer. I'd say this would be a bit of a different story and City probably would contemplate either Sergio Gomez leaving the club on a permanent basis or on loan due to playing time. We'll see. Anyway, moving on to the ends, we've got the very latest on Michael Olise. And Alan Nixon has said that Manchester City, they want Michael Olise in the summer and they're preparing a huge offer to make that happen. Uh, now, I would keep an eye on Crystal Palace's situation. They are lurking just above the relegation zone and their form is pretty poor right now. So if they are relegated come the end of the season, then Olise's price will drop and that will make it more affordable for Manchester City. A little bit like the situation that we had with Nathan Ake when AFC Bournemouth were relegated. I'm not saying that City exploited the situation involving AFC Bournemouth, but we managed to get a Nathan Ake for a more reasonable price than what it would have cost us had Bournemouth stayed in the Premier League. And the same can be said here with Elise and Crystal Palace if they are relegated. If not, it will be an expensive transfer for Manchester City with some numbers already being mentioned uh, about this potential transfer and there's talk that it could cost north of £60 million. Now, Alan Nixon, uh, he's the one that said it could cost £60 million for City to sign Elise, says that City face competition from Manchester United, of course. They've not got scouts, they'll just get linked with every player that Manchester City get linked with because they'll think, you know what, City want them, they must be good, we'll go and get them instead without thinking about their own ideas and their own principles. Surely that's going to end under their CEO, Omar Bar Raider. Uh, so you would think that that philosophy and that mentality may change at Manchester United. It may be imprinted. It may not change. We'll have to wait and see. So apparently City and United interested in signing Michael Olise. And it's very interesting this because Manchester City, we don't know what's going to happen with Bernardo Silva 
in the summer. He has a release clause active in his contract worth 50 million euros. And we potentially will be replacing Bernardo Silva on that right wing with Michael Olise. And it's even more baffling that City are going to accumulate less money for Bernardo Silva than what it would take to sign Michael Olise. Yeah, Bernardo Silva, to me, he's world class. But uh, the situations are very different. Uh, length of contract being one of the reasons why the price would be different. Age is another factor and desire to leave is another. And when all them things are against Manchester City, you end up being in this situation. It would have been ideal for me, in my opinion, for us to have kept hold of Cole Palmer. We didn't. We chose to sell him for £40 million. We don't have them options. We've let Mares leave. So City are needed at least one right winger in uh, in the summer potentially even two and that takes us very nicely onto the other option for Manchester City and that is Savio over at Estac Troy currently out on loan at Girona Fabrizio Romano broke news last night that Savio has agreed to join Manchester City from Estac Troy in the summer he spent the season on loan with Girona and he's doing very well with Girona he's a 19 year old Brazilian winger some people have been looking at his statistics saying 12 uh, goal contributions so far this season isn't exactly lighting up La Liga but when you consider his age and his experience never playing in Spain before all of a sudden you think to yourself actually he's doing very well and that's why Manchester City are interested. What's happening here is an exchange of a document that reads that he's a player for Estac Troy. That name will change and that will become Manchester City instead. Some people have been questioning uh, the City football group and what's the point in Manchester City doing this and we're selling Estac Troy down the drain. Well, there's going to be a lot of money coming into Estac Troy very soon from this transfer that's going to allow them to have a little bit of a rebuild job, which is what they're needing to do whilst being no water off their back uh, in having a player that's never played for the club be sold to Manchester City for more money and Manchester City here utilising the situation with the City Football Group and people are so keen to speak about the finances involved in the City Football Group without realising just what good uh, Manchester City's owners are doing for these clubs and the investment that go into the club look at Girona and how well they're doing they're doing that because they've got principles in place where they don't like utilising too many loan players from other clubs they'll do one or two but they're not going to be full of CFG players they're building their own mentality their own philosophy doing their own thing whilst having a bit of backing and a bit of investment for them to allow them that if they want to have that option to go out there to bring a player or two in they can go and do that without breaking the back or more importantly breaking financial fair play Girona to me are just one of many clubs that I think are going to be very successful in the CFG uh, outside of Manchester City and I can see with this money coming into them from this Savio transfer of Estat Troy being a club that very much will start to rise back up through the French leagues and start pushing towards getting back into Liga 1 and trying to be competitive in France as well and that's how you'll maintain the business Girona they're going to lose some players in the summer because they're doing very well but that money will get reinvested back into the club and hopefully they can go from strength to strength and the same can be said for Estat Troy as well we're dealing here with people who know how to run a football club know how to do it very well and know how to utilize situations to their very best advantage and in particular I feel like you get the very best out of City and the CFG when it comes to transfers they're very good at getting their transfers right and Manchester City leading the forefront when it comes to transfers not just in the CFG but in the Premier League as well look how well Manchester City do in having young players top quality young players come to the club sell them on for profit and reinvest that in the first team squad to bring in some of the very best players from around the world into the football club and you get that conveyor belt going and that success starts to breed success whilst also profiting from the club very successful business model at Manchester City some people will argue against it with the 115 charges we won't be able to argue back against that until we know the clarifications on the charges and what's happening with them uh, and vice versa and going on from there very political end of the day Man City are going to be getting Savio from Estat Troy currently out on loan at Girona really looking forward to seeing what he can do for Manchester City Jack Gorham put reliability on this for sources close to City saying it's looking likely that he will be a Manchester City player in the summer and Neil Sola a journalist close to Girona has said that it isn't ruled out that Manchester City when they sign Savio that he will continue at Girona so I presume that uh, contemplating a loan back to Girona as Savio is happy and he is settled in Spain and enjoying his time there too which is something to bear in mind however Fabrizio Romano this morning has flipped that on its on its head and he said however 
Manchester City plan to utilise Savio amongst their first team squad next season. The plan is Savio signs for City by the end of February. All contracts will be sorted and Manchester City will bring Savio in in June to the football club and he will spend July with Manchester City on pre-season uh, with the first team squad in the United States of America and City will assess a game from there. City not ruling anything out. Could be loaned, could be utilised by the first team squad. We'll have to wait and see. One thing I do know, Savio, he is going to be a Manchester City player this summer very exciting so there we go that has been the video i hope you enjoyed the video if you did enjoy this video please do leave a thumbs up uh 200 likes is the aim also don't forget to get your thoughts in the comments below do subscribe if you're new around here press that red button press the bell and put your push notifications on it is free to subscribe and i'm now less than 400 subs away from my goal of 34,000 subscribers also don't forget social media links they're in the description if you want to go and follow me on my twitter instagram and tiktok email links in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos Videos or any general business inquiries do go and check out football prizes links and details there in the description uh, go and check them out including the potential to win that Erling Haaland signed shirt go and check them out links and details there in the description and I'll see you all again real soon for the next Manchester City video so I've been JSGC thank you everyone for watching hope everyone is safe and well peace ciao for now <laughs>